Packable day packs aren't something that I've covered a lot on this channel because typically if you find one good one, it's not really something you need to go back into the market for. Plus, there's just not a lot of packable backpacks out there that have really caught my eye. Most of them are pretty basic and generic opening, couple maybe small, really flimsy internal organization pockets, maybe a front pocket, and they work and serve their purpose pretty well. The only real exposure I've had with packable backpacks is the Veer from Wandered at 18 liters that has an inflatable camera cube, an inflatable back, that has served as my packable backpack for probably the last year since it around since it came out. And now, because I recently got the Bellroy Light Sling, I went ahead and got the Bellroy Light backpack as well. And I will say up front, Bellroy is in no way, shape, or form affiliated or sponsoring this video. I bought this bag with my own review or my own money, and this review is 100% my own. I bought this bag with my own review, and my money is mine. That also works. But, anyways, uh, enough chit chat. Let's talk about the Bellroy Light backpack. Okay, so there's a few points I wanna make about this bag, but the first thing I wanna say up top, if you're looking for a good packable bag to accommodate you on your travels, that is what I think this bag's main and best purpose is. However, I do think this bag also works as a light and very minimal daily carry bag if you're doing things out and around, maybe downtown, gym, office, things like that. I tested this bag in two ways. One, I tested it on a mock travel where I used it as a packable day bag. And then two, I used it as a minimal office back and forth between my house bag. And I gotta say in both areas, it worked extremely well. Now what I mean by mock travel is that because of coronavirus and everything that's going on in the world, I'm not traveling as much as I used to be. I used to travel pretty much every single month. Now I'm traveling, I've traveled like less than two times in the last six months. Um, so because of that, what I do is I grab a 40 liter travel bag or the bag that I would use on my trip and I pack it out and I live out of it for three to five days and that's basically all I utilize in terms of clothing and gear and stuff like that around my house and I use this as my packable day bag and then this became what I used for the office, if that makes sense. They kind of coincided with each other. It's not the easiest and best way or most maybe efficient way to test a product but with travel being limited, you got to use what you got and doing things like staying at a mock hotel or things like that are the way that I've been usually reviewing my travel bag. So with all of that, let's get into the things that make this bag pretty darn great. Okay, so the first point I wanna make are the materials on this bag. Unlike other packable day bags, this material has kind of like that X-Pack feeling to it, but it does not feel like it's gonna tear, rip, or be broken down anytime soon. It is a very comfortable and nice feeling day pack, and these materials are just extremely extremely nice to the touch. The other thing I like about this day pack is the back material. A lot of packable day packs or bags of this nature will have no comfort, no padding, and very minimal straps. For a packable day pack, I say that at the top, these straps are extremely comfortable and this back panel breathes really well. Again, and that is in terms of this being a packable day pack. On a regular day pack, this stuff would never work because it's not really what you'd want. But on a, tackle, on a packable day pack that's meant to be light and kind of do things that, you know, you, you're, you're slicing down the material essentially is what you're doing. Because with a packable day pack, you want it to be light, but you also want it to be comfortable. And I think Bellroy has found a perfect blend of that with this back panel that breathes pretty well with this built-in mesh and these straps that are comfortable. Now, your mileage may vary depending on how heavy you pack this out. I also want to show you a way that you can convert this to be more of a daily carry backpack, but I also just want to say you want to be careful with how much you put in here because this is at the end of the day a very lightweight and not extremely durable day pack because it's meant for lighter loads hence the name light backpack. Okay point number two I want to make is versatility. There's two things that this bag does really well and one of them is its packability in terms of being able to be packed away in a 40 liter bag like I mentioned at the top. It works great as a packable bag for your travels to be your daily carry when you get to where you're going. The other thing that this bag does really well is a very minimal lightweight daily carry even outside of travel. If you wanted something really quick to throw maybe a jacket, a water bottle, your phone, keys, maybe some headphones, something like short, small nature like that, this is great for a grab and grow. Or maybe if you're just going to the office and you're not taking your computer home with you every day and you just need to bring like your jacket, maybe some snacks, 
again, maybe like headphones, something like that, maybe your little like workfolio, it works really well. That's actually the loadout that I'm gonna show you inside of here is how I was taking it to the office every day when I wasn't bringing my laptop and work equipment home with me because if I had to bring that stuff home, this bag would not work that well. But there's also another way you can convert this bag to do a little bit more if you need it to, then I'm gonna show you when we get into point number three. And point number three is the organization. I think that for a very minimal, packable, daily carry kind of bag, this does exactly what you need it to do. It's not overloaded with tons of organization to make you want to bring more, weighing the bag down, but it has just enough organization built on the main compartment and up here at the top that allows you to bring the essential items that you need on a daily basis if you were using this for one of the two things that I mentioned before. So with that, let's get into the pockets and kind of show you how I pack this thing out. Up here at the top is what is essentially your quick access, which works really well with that YKK weather guard zip. In here, I have put things, my headphones, AirPod Pros, and then this is where I've put my iPhone mini cell phone with the Bellroy three card case. I absolutely love this. I will link their phone cases below. If you have an iPhone, I don't think they do a lot for like Samsung. They do like iPhone and Google Pixels, and you don't wanna carry around a wallet, but you need to carry like three cards. This three card case from Bellroy is hands down one of my favorites. I had it way back when, when I had an iPhone 10. Never had it for the iPhone 12, just never got around to it. I recently got the iPhone 13 mini, which I'm gonna be doing a video at some point in the future about why things like this are great for minimal travel. But anyways, this, this case, Bellroy makes incredible products. I have another Bellroy product in here I'm gonna show you. Anyways, uh, this is the top compartment. It is very small. Those two items almost cramp this pocket, so it's very, very minimal. Things like a wallet, maybe like a boarding cap pass if you're using this as your carry-on bag because you're not bringing a whole lot. Things of those natures, very small, very lightweight is what you want to think because this pocket doesn't have a lot of rigidity. This whole bag doesn't have a lot of rigidity, so you want to be a little careful in what you put up here at the top. But that quick access compartment works super well. Then you move into the main compartment. I love these zippers. I love these zipper pulls. I love how big and beefy they are. Even though they're on a smaller lightweight day pack, I love that they are extremely easy to grab and use. I think that is important. No matter what kind of bag you have, you wanna make it easy to get into. So in here, I have a jacket. This is my Airloft 2.0 from Western Rise. It is probably one of the best packable jackets I have, which is why I like to use it with my daily carry bags because I usually I have like a sweater or something on, but sometimes it gets a little bit more chilly than I would like it to because recently it's been like single digits or very low double digits. And sometimes I wanna bring an extra jacket just in case I get a little chilly, which has happened pretty much every single day. The other thing I have in here is my daily tech case. This is just full of like the very essential chargers for like my iPhone, my headphones, maybe that's it because everything takes an Apple charger for me. So this is just minimal extra chargers that I might need on a daily basis. And then there's also a pocket in here that has a little bit of elasticity, elastic, elasticity. I cannot say that word. Elasticity, Ela electric city, that's it. It has a little bit of electric city in it, which works for if you wanted to put a water bottle. This is my James Coffee Company canteen. Works really well in there. And then next to that is another very minimal, tight, small pocket that I never got a chance to use because I just didn't have anything quite small enough. Up here at the top is a nice little zippered guy that you can leave open if you like. And here's where I put my flat essential items. Things like my film notebook so I can take notes on the things that I need to shoot for the day. Also my vaccination card because recently places that I wanna go have been requiring to see your vaccination card up here. So I always carry that with me just in case. And then if you wanted to, there is a thing in here for key clip. Right, so you can clip your keys and keep them in there if you wanted to. Typically, what I would do is because my phone would normally be in my pocket, but I just kinda wanted to show you what it's like up here. I'd put my keys in my headphones and then this hangs up at my office, like in my little cubicle at work, and then everything I need is just kind of right here, including if I need to get my keys out because I'm going out to my car, or if I'm going to lunch, um, things like that. I like to have my keys. I don't like to have my keys in my pocket, really weird. I don't like the way they fit in my pocket. I don't like the way they feel in my pocket. So that's great for this one. And then behind that is a very small, almost like a tablet place, which is where I've put the Bellroy Workfolio A5, which is where I house my iPad in a small notebook for work. This is what I use when I'm at work, walking around the office, taking notes, things like that. This fits really well. Now what you might notice, because that's it, that's the entirety of the inside of this bag. You might notice there's no laptop compartment, right? There's no, not even a spot if you wanted to. I'm not even sure, I didn't test it. 
I don't even know if this back here would fit like a 13 inch. I'm not even sure if you'd want it to because there's no padding on this. But if you have, and Bellroy sells one, I do not have it. I have one from Wandered. This is a 13 inch laptop like sleeve case thing. This will actually fit in here pretty much perfectly. You're definitely not gonna get a 15 inch and you could convert this to bring like this. Maybe I wanna throw my work folio in there and then maybe like, maybe my jacket. This definitely, there's a weight difference in this. It definitely feels a little bit heavier, but because this is in a sleeve, I feel a little bit more secure rather than just putting it anywhere else in the bag because there's no padding at the bottom. So it would easily damage your laptop. But if you needed to, you're like, oh, this is, this is perfect because all I really need is my laptop and like two other items. And I don't want to spend a ton of money because this is a relatively cheap packable bag, in my opinion, compared to some of the others on the market. But you're like, oh, I really need my laptop to fit in here somehow that I would invest. You can get any laptop case. You can go to Walmart and get one. Bellroy's is super nice. I really like Wanderds because it kind of converts into like a little workstation almost. You can easily put that in here and just, you know, maybe not bring as much daily items if you need to. It's just something I wanted to show you because I thought that was a really interesting thing that they did here. Some packable bags try to make it where you can bring a laptop. I think Bellroy kind of made the right decision where it's not really meant for a laptop because if you make a laptop sleeve on this, it encourages people to put their laptop in there. But then if you're not careful because this bag has absolutely no padding and no coverage and no durability in terms of keeping your items like a laptop safe from if you drop the bag or put it down a little bit too hard or maybe it gets rustled around, you might break something. So you wanna be very, very careful about delicate items in here. I would utilize pouches and things like laptop sleeves to keep your essential items safe inside this bag. And that brings me to point number four. This is probably one of the best packable bags that I've had the opportunity to use. And the reason I say that is because the materials are great. It packs away super nice. It is comfortable for what you're getting and honestly has a pretty good harness system for a packable bag. I really like the internal organization on this bag. I think it works really well for anybody that goes through things, whether it be you need something quick for the gym, something quick for work, something quick for every day, something for travel. I think the organization in this bag is great for those minimal items. I also am a huge, huge fan of how it looks. I know that sounds weird because a lot of bags kind of look the same, but there's something about this like darker blue with the gray accents and it's Bellroy and everything they make is just super good. I'm a big fan of owls because I have a tattoo of one. Uh, that's not because of Bellroy, but um, if Bellroy wants to sponsor me because of that tattoo, then feel free to say this is a Bellroy owl. Only if I'm gonna get a sponsorship. But I just overall think this is a really, really solid bag, especially for the money. That is basically all my thoughts. If you're looking for a good packable bag or very minimal daily carry, but you don't wanna break the bank, I think this is the way to go. I think that Bellroy really, really crushed it with this light day pack. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down below and I'll do my best to answer those for you. Or you can shoot me an email, odmatthewsbags at gmail.com. If you have any more questions, comments, wanna see any additional footage or photos or anything on this bag that you have questions about that I didn't cover in depth in this video, that's the best place to reach me and I will happily provide any additional information or photos that you need of this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all of that good nonsense. And thank you again so much, so very much for all the love and support you give this channel. It means the world to me. Um, and with all of that being said, I will see you next time.